The Lyric was Cadillac's first foray into the world of fully electric vehicles, so it's only fitting that the Lyric would be the first Cadillac EV to receive the V performance treatment. Hey, I'm Creech, and this is Creech and Cars. Today, we're going to be taking an early look at the all new upcoming Cadillac Lyric V, a high performance electric SUV from a classic American luxury marquee. Let's start on the exterior, where the standard Lyric's elegantly futuristic design is transformed with the dark accenting around a gunmetal gray exterior. Lighting plays a large role in the design of the Lyric, especially up front in this grill area. Small tweaks to the lighting can really change up the appearance and essentially change the shape and proportions of the grill to give the Lyric a more aggressive front fascia, which Cadillac has done with this V edition of the Lyric. The lower functional grille has been tweaked as well and now has a nice black mesh design and a bit of a shark nose design to it to make it more aggressive. The vertical running lights frame the front end and are a telltale sign that you are looking at a Cadillac. The V will get a set of unique wheels shown in black in these first pictures, and there are a couple of other aerodynamic changes that will set the Lyric V apart from its mundane twin. First of all, the Lyric V will sit a bit lower to the ground, which in addition to giving the SUV a more aggressive stance, will lower the center of gravity to help increase the handling capability. More noticeable, however, is the roof mounted spoiler that you can see out back. This roof line slopes aggressively downward on the rear hatch, which is a design feature found on the standard Lyric that already lends towards a sleeker, sportier look. As for the interior, Cadillac has only shown us a glimpse of the steering wheel emblazoned with a large V-Series logo, along with a steering wheel mounted button labeled V. More on what that button does later. While Cadillac hasn't officially shown off what the rest of the interior of the Lyric V will look like just yet, we can take the standard interior of the Lyric and combine that with what we've seen Cadillac do on previous models like the CT5V and CT4V. First of all, technology will continue to be a focus in here as the Lyric is one model that GM uses to showcase its most advanced technology and features. The main attraction is of course the 33 inch curved OLED touchscreen display that is used for both the gauge cluster and the infotainment system. Don't expect that to be going anywhere. And as with the other V series models, there won't be a radical redesign, but rather a change in materials and key spots that will help exude sportiness. While the normal Lyric is dressed with metallic trim and panels of real open pore wood, you can't expect that all to be replaced by slabs of carbon fiber. The plush, comfortable seats should be given Alcantara inserts and red contrast stitching. The steering wheel should also be wrapped in Alcantara with a red stripe marking the center. The rear seats and cargo will still have plenty of space, making the Lyric V a very practical V car. And in this sense, it sort of reminds me of the CTS-V wagon that Cadillac used to sell. Whether you love or hate the design, with this V badge, performance will be the most important aspect of this model. To refresh you, the standard Lyric has one motor driving the rear wheels that produces 340 horsepower, and there's an optional dual motor all wheel drive version that bumps that number up to 500 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque, allowing it to go from zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Cadillac hasn't released an official number for the Lyric V, but the Blazer SS has 557 horsepower, so it wouldn't be unreasonable for the Lyric V to have around 600 horsepower, if not more. And going back to that V button on the steering wheel that I mentioned earlier, that is likely a little boost option, uh, similar to what uh, Genesis has on the GV60 that basically unlocks more horsepower for a short period of time so as not to deplete the battery reserve, but that might bump you up to 620 or 630 horsepower for about two or three seconds. As an all wheel drive electric vehicle, the Lyric V will still be pretty heavy and 
with a weight of around 5,800 pounds that will put a haul on extreme acceleration, but you can still expect the Lyric V to go from zero to 60 in about four seconds. That would be better than the CT5V, although that would lag behind the CT5V Blackwing. From these pictures, we can also see that the Lyric V will come equipped with high performance Brembo brakes and Continental tires. The Lyric V will be coming out for the 2026 model year, and Cadillac has already cut the entry level tech trim from the lineup to sort of clean things up a little bit in preparation for adding this new high performance trim. So with all that in mind, here are my final thoughts on the 2026 Cadillac Lyric V. First of all, I know a lot of people will dismiss the Lyric V from being a serious performance car simply because it's electric, but this is still a very important model for Cadillac to execute properly for a couple of reasons, whether or not you're really into it. Number one, while the brand has improved in terms of sales and the breadth of its customer base, it still isn't seen as a serious performance leader. The V brand has made great strides over the past 20 years, and adding an electric vehicle to the portfolio won't take away from the current ICE lineup, but rather add another dimension to this performance division. Also, a major criticism of the standard Lyric is its banal and uninspired driving feel. Adding a V model that provides a lot more driver feedback and ultimately a more fun experience will put the Lyric more in line with its top competitors and should increase the market appeal and sales figures. So that's everything we know so far about the all new 2026 Cadillac Lyric V, the first electric V series vehicle. On this channel, I talk about car news like this as well as history and culture. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.